Want to block my driveway, officer? It's gonna be another minute or two on coffee. About a decade ago, I worked an early morning shift at a fast food restaurant. We opened at 6 a.m., so I had to be at work at 5 a.m. I would leave my house at about 4.45 a.m. every morning. My management was pretty relaxed about the opening shift. Clocking in up to 10 minutes late wasn't really an ordeal, as long as you showed up ready to go. I came outside at 445 to find that a local police officer has pulled someone over and is now blocking my driveway. This has happened before, but normally in the afternoon, and normally I just ask the officer to move forwards or back a couple of feet and then I pull in or out of the driveway. No sweat. This officer, however, angrily informs me that I will have to wait till he's done. I snap a picture of his car, text it to my manager and explain my tardiness. Forty minutes later, the police officer finally moves. I scramble into the car and head to work. I get there 15 minutes before we open. I frantically start to brew tea, fetch ice, having to condense my 50-minute routine into 15. I almost forgot to brew coffee. Opening time rolls around, and the first group of customers come in. It's a group of our local police officers, led by the captain. I guess they are about to do a shift change. One of the officers in the group is the one who blocked my driveway. Anyway, the captain orders coffee, and I regretfully inform him that there's a five-minute wait on coffee because I got to work extremely late. Captain asks why, so I pulled out my phone and explained that one of his officers blocked my driveway for 45 minutes for a routine traffic stop. Captain proceeds to chew out that officer in front of all of his colleagues and exclaims that nothing short of a life-or-death emergency should block my driveway if it will interfere with him getting his morning coffee. It was never blocked again. And the captain always got his coffee at 6 a.m. without interruption. That's the sort of situation you pray to be a part of. Some bored prankster god kissed you on the forehead that day. Cops holding bad apples accountable. But for coffee. I was about to call bullshit on a camera phone from 10 years ago. Then I realized what year it is. GD I feel old ha ha. I'd like a coffee please. And. Can you serve up some just desserts with that? That was some great petty revenge and I'm sure it felt validating. Although it is disheartening that the captain was only upset because it inconvenienced him, not that it could have potentially cost you your job. I was excited when I read, only under life and death situations I was expecting to read, to block someone's driveway for 45 minutes but then I read to make him wait a few extra minutes for coffee. I'm glad he got chewed out either way. Gif Giffy HQDWTL 18 Iber 58 nil 8 T downsized. This felt good just reading it, I can only imagine how it felt to actually live it. Gif Giffy Opa W9 PDMSJ3 Co. How often were people getting pulled over in front of your place? That's so satisfying Gif Emote Free Emote Pack Thumbs Up. It's true, guys. I was the coffee. Best petty revenge I've read, the revenge itself was sweet, the story clearly and concisely written. Bravo. You just inspired me to post a petty revenge story from 12 years ago. I really don't get why so many people are saying fake. Nothing about this stands out as fake and OP has a pretty coherent post and comment history and it's a 9-year-old account. I just don't see why they would make this up. Trying hard not to be a wet noodle, but what routine traffic stop takes 45 minutes to clear? 15 minutes at the most is as long as it ever took to write me a ticket. Well wasn't that a satisfying read with my morning brew teacup with handle hash. And that, boys and girls, is how you use the chain of command. Sounds like my restaurant with cops. We were a pricier seafood place think a bill under $150 for two people was a shocker pricey and we fed cops free to encourage them to just generally be around. None of them would have been happy to have their free seafood late.
so immensely fake. Glorious. The funny thing is that if it had an inconvenience that captain he likely wouldn't have given a single fuck. Five minute delay? I would have told him 45 minutes delay as that was how long the cop didn't move their car for. Amazing. Sad thing is someone would probably get shot over something like that nowadays. Pigs will be pigs. Sounds like Panera to me. You should get the camera footage and share here to get a bazillion karma. Captain asks why, so I pulled out my phone and explained that one of his officers blocked my driveway for 45 minutes for a routine traffic stop. LMAO thank you for telling them the truth. If there was no life or death emergency, there's no reason to block a driveway. And everybody cheered, the lady cop even gave me her number. Both cops are assholes. The captain wasn't mad that you were inconvenienced, only that it negatively affected him. I get that way about my morning coffee too. Granted it's at home but if I utter the words I have not had my coffee yet my husband and our kids scatter. Sounds fake as fuck. You coffee must be some of that gourmet sha one tea. I'll take things that didn't happen for 200, Alex. I had the exact same situation, except there were fairies and dragons and everyone cheered. I love this story serves the guy right, I love the boss had it out with him there and then, the picture was the icing on the cake. Niichi. Never once when I was told there's be a wait did I ask why? What a good example of the entitlement of cops. He did it on purpose, blocking your driveway. He's jerking off about it now. Cops are jerk off. They hire the wrong people. I think this is called karma. The cop deserved it. Having power and abusing it is not the hallmark of a good person. Shit that didn't happen for $500, Alex. This. Is. Amazing. Justice. Now this is the real tea. Just more police with their heads up their asses, including that captain. What do I mean by that? He was mad about the delay in getting his coffee, not the fact that one of his officers threw around his authority like a thuggish asshole. In short, selfish. All the cops in this story were selfish. This sounds like a Seinfeld episode face with tears of joy. That's gold Jerry Gold. Good story. Gif Giffy EOUEZI 5 BBR 8 UK downsized. Face with rolling eyes, face with rolling eyes, face with rolling eyes. My eyes are spinning so hard at this story. The mean all officer blocked you making you late, then a bunch of officers come in with their leader and wouldn't you know it the mean all officer from earlier is there and then the lead officer gave a shit why you were late? And chewed out his subordinate in public because his coffee was late? Poo fucking lees. This is some lousy revenge bait. This was so gratifying to read. Something similar happened to me, cop pulled someone over and was blocking the bus stop on my street. I told him that he was blocking a bus stop and might want to move his car, which of course he refused. Five minutes later the bus pulls up, and the entire street gets backed up one way narrow street. He realized he fucked up and finally moved the car. I just shook my head at him from the bus. Cops are such assholes when you try to help them out. Yeah, sorry. I do not believe pig 2 chewed out pig 1. Captain proceeds to chew out that officer in front of all of his colleagues and exclaims that nothing short of a life or death emergency should block my driveway if it will interfere with him getting his morning coffee. Akab citizen has their morning ruined? Who cares? I can't get my coffee without waiting 5 minutes. This will not stand. Today on things that definitely happened. This sounds like bullshit tbh. No way this actually happened. These stories are so fake. 